Hello there and welcome to the Process of Becoming podcast by Sigoja Boy. This is episode 2. So we'll start off with the affirmations that I said to myself back in 2025, 2021. Um, and it says that I am in the process of becoming, being and becoming to become the best version of myself, to reach the highest and truest expression of my soul, to climb the spiritual pyramid and be at the top above worldly limitations of the heart and mind to be unlimited to be fully what it is meant to be in the world or in the context of african spirituality (laughs) and happy happy new year happy 2025 to all the africans that recognize the african spiritual calendar um, our ancestors were guided by lunar cycles, they were guided by the stars, they were guided by spiritual revelations which allowed them to thrive because they were aligned um, with, with the higher being and us going into um, to spring, um, we started our new year on the 1st of August 2025 um, and yeah, in this year um, we're renewed our hopes and dreams are renewed and yeah we look forward to to what's to come and we remain most importantly um rooted and to stand um in the power of the great deity Madhusa Sabele and also um on the great wisdom of our ancestors um first of all I'd like to start off with just gratitude um, gratitude for the love that you've shown for my first episode, which I uploaded two weeks ago. Remember, we'll be uploading every second Tuesday. So if you're hearing this, just know it's a Tuesday. Um, yeah, I just wanted to express my gratitude um, with the responses. Um, just like a little overview of the Matrix. Um, so far, we have about... 24 followers on spotify if you haven't and you're watching on youtube please also go and follow me on spotify um and from spotify we had about 507 impressions and then the episode was played 55 times like what 55 times like people were listening to me over and over again and also like we had about 96 percent um, just like on the geographic location, like on the geographic, um, which I found quite interesting is the fact that we had listeners, about 96 listeners from South Africa, and then 2% from Kenya and 2% from Canada. Like, what? Okay. Um, so hello, hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome. So this is episode two. Um, it's quite different it's it's quite different because normally before I shoot, um, I already have an overview of what I'm going to speak about, like on the on on the episode, and the day that I shot episode one, I also shot episode two, um, but something within me tells me that I need to shoot a different episode two. Um, Because I am in a much different space than I was when I shot the first episode two. So let's call this one episode two with a twist, right? Um, And I actually didn't write down like what I'm going to say. I didn't write down what I'm going to say. So it's basically going to be like my reflections. I think I want to first start off like with my reflections of... um, just like how things have been like since this new year. Um, yeah, I'm very uncomfortable, I must say. Like right now, I'm very much uncomfortable. I think the discomfort is coming from the fact that um, normally when I speak about something, it's normally something that I've gone through. And then I come and speak about it or I speak about it to other people. But if I am going through something, like I, and I think it's something that I said from episode one, where it's like, I disconnect, I disconnect from the world. I disconnect from people. I disconnect from myself. And I just like completely shut down. And yeah, I think the years started off with just 
shaking my comfort zone. Like the year started off with shaking my comfort zone. Like I approached the year with, and I still am approaching the year with, um, with openness. Like I am so open to, to like to embracing myself, and I guess that's why I'm uncomfortable and I'm still shooting, because this is me like being open and just like discomfort, because I am dedicated to growth this year like i'm really dedicated to my growth this year um on the 31st of july when um we're ending our we're going to our year end um i just reflected on like how things have been like just from my side i think from i think 2022 like shook me in ways that I never thought were possible. Um, I'll always reference 2022 Gregorian calendar, like from October, which is when I lost my, which is when my grandfather passed to the spiritual dimension. Um, and then also December, that's when my aunt also passed to the spiritual dimension. I'll always reference 2022 as like, which was 2023, um, African spiritual calendar, but let's speak about Gregorian just to not um, confuse people. I'll always reference that time as like the darkest time of my life because even though like I was aware of death, I was aware of grief, I was aware of it as a concept and something that happens, but like for me to actually experience it, like it shook me. It really did um, to a point where like I just, I disconnected. I disconnected from myself. I wanted nothing to do with spirituality. Um, I was scared. I was scared of the passing, the passage, weirdly enough. I was scared of, I always reference ancestors as, you know, I know that they they were part of our family at some point and now they've passed and they come back to us. Right. I feel like that was more acceptable to me, like as people that were part of our family and now they've passed to the spiritual dimension. But for someone to have seen them face to face and for them to pass to the other dimension and then you see them in your dreams, that scared the hell out of me. It scared the hell out of my brain. Um, yeah, and I think like 2022, like and, and it was towards the end. And I just disconnected, honestly. I just disconnected from my spirituality. I disconnected from um, like things that keep me, that make me me, you know? And I think last year, like, well, 2023, Gregorian calendar, um, that's when I, I, like, well, this was like towards June. That's when I started to come back to myself, like slowly but surely, but wanting to come back to myself in a genuine and authentic way. Like I didn't want to seem spiritual like for other people or to do things just to show other people that, oh, I'm back. Because people would come to me and they'd be like, when are you shooting the next episode? When are you uploading on YouTube? When are you? And I'm like, I'm going to. Because I knew that the space that I was at like I needed to sort things out with my own self, come into terms of grief, come into terms of like just like a lot of things because there's anger involved. There's just like all these negative emotions that were so strong that I was just like not used to to feeling and dealing with. And yeah, and I, I, I it was a slow journey. It was like getting back to righteousness falling off again, you know? And I'm so grateful for my pure spirit guides for for holding my hand through it and for their grace, for their um for their patience, for their patience. And I'm also so grateful for my family. Um yeah. Okay, let's 
try this again. Um, yo, this is such a difficult um, episode for me to shoot. This is really difficult for me. I literally had to like take time, but I'm back. I'm okay now. Um, so I think like like what I was saying, like I'm really grateful for my spirit guides for holding my hand through it. Um, they they came through for me. And I know this in my dreams. I could feel it. I know it in in synchronicities and things that I would see or things people would just come to me and say where it would just affirm with me that they're still with me, even though like at that time like I didn't want anything to do with them. Um and I would say like 2023 Gregorian was about me just absorbing. Like last year, I, it's like I was getting back to me. Um, I spent a lot of like, time in stillness, um, you know, just going on hiking alone, just hearing my own voice. Um, time lighting my spiritual candles at times i didn't even have prayer within me but just lighting and just asking my guys to just excuse me to just be with me and and of course like there were highs and lows like it's life that's part of it and i would say 2024 gregorian which started now in january i would say like i was then like I was starting to, I was open again. Like I was, I was, I was getting into my routines, like honoring and whenever I hear like directions, I would action, I would write down concepts. I started serving. Um, yeah. And I would say now, well, I'm still in 2024 Gregorian, but now that we're in 2025 African spiritual calendar, I think where I'm at right now, I am, I'm seeing that I am, I am needed to take action. It's like I have returned back home, back to myself, and I am where. I was needed to be and now that I'm here now there's like an acceleration of things that I need to do because you took this break and now it's time for you to catch up from all these things so I definitely feel like 2025 African spiritual calendar which started from the first of of August I'm so sorry to confuse please understand when we say Gregorian calendar it's the normal calendar african spiritual calendar starts from the 1st of august till the 31st of july the following so now for 2025 african spiritual calendar that just started i think for me it's much more personal in a sense of um i'm needed to take action it's like much more action oriented it's like you went through all these cycles and i noticed it's like I was in a period of being a caterpillar, having to go into my cocoon to learn, to absorb. And then I feel like for 2025, like I'm just supposed to be a butterfly and just fly out and work and action and live within my purpose. And I see that. I see it, that it's it's much more personal. And with the direction of um, that 2025 is the year of standing. Like we need to stand in this power that has been manifesting in your life all this time. And now it's my time to stand within that power because even though I'm supposed to be flapping my wings and becoming this beautiful butterfly, like life is still going to happen. And then what happens when life happens to you? Do you then disconnect and then start over, go into your cocoon, delay your growth, delay your progress? You get what I mean? So when I came into 2025, like I was very pumped up because I knew that 
it's now my time for action. Got myself my journal plan, you know, so that I can manage my time properly, so I can divide between my projects that I need to do, between full-time work, between school, between everything and all my responsibilities. And I, and then now, like, I, I feel like my comfort zone is shaken, like, in my life, because now that I'm much more open to my spiritual part, it's like, okay, you're where we need you to be. Now, here's a challenge. And this challenge, as I'm aware, it accelerates my growth. It's part of the acceleration that I need to do to grow to the next level that I need to be. But remember that naturally I disconnect. So I can say that August has been a tough month for me. It's been very tough. As you can hear, I've got my sinuses. Um, Health-wise, not so cute. Can we get to September so that my sinuses can just chill out? But I think also spiritually and just also emotionally, also mentally. Like, it's been a lot. It's been a lot. And I am so grateful. Like, I'm going through the most because my comfort zone is shaken. And my brain is telling me to go into my cocoon and disconnect from everything. But my soul knows what my mandate is for this year, that I need to take action. And so if I'm in a cocoon, I won't be able to take action. I need to work. I can't afford to. And yeah, I think then it's just like this fight that I'm going through, which is exhausting, which can be mentally exhausting at the same time. And also emotionally, because my emotions also take over, that I just want to lie in my bed and just want niche things and cry it out and you know of course you're gonna have those days but for me I just want to stay in that like until something passes and I think now it's like I'm being confronted like what I was it's so funny because it's what I was saying in episode one where it's like when we go through um challenges we're being confronted and we're forced that the inner wisdom that's within us is what's supposed to carry us because that's what helps us to know where we stand, to know whether we're growing through something or we keep on repeating the same cycles of something. And so like I'm noticing that there's like this fight of wanting like my my body, my mind and my heart want to repeat the same cycle of disconnecting and just like... I just, I just want to get away. I just want to get away from everything. And I just want things to go back to normal because like my comfort zone is being shaken and I don't like this, you know? And me saying, I know I need to work and my comfort is being shaken, but I'm aware of the fact that the fact that my comfort is being shaken is what's going to help me to take action. You know, like that's what's going to help me to, to be able to fulfill all my tasks for 2025 and this is what is going to help me to accelerate my growth and to allow me to go through this process of becoming (laughs) oh my gosh it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot so I yeah I'm going through the most but I'm living funny enough in these pockets full of gratitude like My gosh, like I am bursting with gratitude. And I say this from the depths of my soul. Like I am so grateful for my digging tools. Remember from episode one, my garden, which is my soul and my digging tools, the spiritual guidance from an authentic spiritual guider that guides me in the context of African spirituality. In my case, in Bonita Tuzule's, I am so grateful because spiritual revelations literally prepare you for what's to come. But they can only have relevance in your life if you open yourself. And I know maybe it's also asking yourself, like, what? how do I open myself? That's, that's another episode. But it's like when you open yourself up to the spiritual revelations and you allow them to 
shape your life they start having meaning into your life like i'm so grateful for the ultimate meditation meditation session right that we had um in july where um imboni actually said um we need spiritual growth plus mental strength right and Spir- some people have got spiritual growth but they lack the mental strength and without because our mental capacity is what helps us to cope in the world even though our spirituality allows us to become the best version of ourselves we still need our brains to maneuver the world and so without mental strength we might have spirituality but we'll be able to thrive within the world because we still need to be successful in the world right so i'm so grateful for like that meditation session because now i'm seeing that oh i need to meditate because and also now i'm able to i'm able to um remove i'm able to see myself in these different um what can i say like i'm able to see myself as my mind i'm able to see myself as my heart and i'm able to see myself as my spirit like i'm able to differentiate um between the three and so i'm able to also differentiate whether is this action fueled by my heart is it fueled by my mind or is it fueled by my soul you know like for example like i didn't want to shoot and open up because like this is just very uncomfortable for you know for my ego like i don't want people to have that side of me for me to open up to them in that way you know what i mean but it's like i know that this is important for me and for my journey of becoming because this is this is part of my um comfort zone that i'm being stepped out of so i'm so grateful for that meditation because it helps me to recognize that when the discomfort comes it's like now i need you brain instead of you wanting to go to a cocoon let's go meditate instead of you going to a cocoon let's go to gym instead of you going to a cocoon why don't you call a friend and catch up instead of you going you know what i mean instead of you going to a cocoon why don't we play affirmations you know so i'm so grateful for the meditation and i'm also grateful for spiritual revelations like i'm so, my heart bursts with gratitude when i think of that i burst because like spiritual revelations that tell you that um what's this your heart and your emotions sadness and happiness shouldn't be your life indicators whereas for me they were and they still are cuz I'm in a work in progress in that because when your comfort zone is being shaken right that's you being in your sadness in your negative emotion then that becomes like your life indicator suddenly this year is not the best year suddenly like we're in the first month of the new year and you just want to cancel the whole year because like what else is there out there for me if i'm going to stop the year like this but it's like and also when i started the year i was very happy and i was so excited and but it's like whether i'm happy or sad like that shouldn't be my life indicator and whether i'm happy or sad that shouldn't mean that i can't um shoot and i don't have a message to say it doesn't mean i can't fulfill my spiritual responsibilities it doesn't mean that i can't fulfill all my other responsibilities that i need to do like work like school and and all the other roles that i need to fulfill you know and it's obviously still a work in progress like it's so weird for me to speak about something while it's still a work in progress but it's still a work in progress like for your life to not be indicated whether you're happy or not because when you're happy you have a different energy and you give your all and you push but when you're sad you just don't want to do it but like we said that this is life and life has got its ups and downs so does that mean that when i'm down again i'm going to disconnect and prolong my growth because when i disconnect it stops my growth stops and then it waits for me to catch up and then i have to continue growing but i'm now not at the pace that i am supposed to be in yeah and the spiritual revelation of knowers are not affected by doubts like when you're spiritual spirit the spirit knows 
what is spiritual because spirit connects with a spiritual entity. So I know I have ancestors. I don't need to believe in my ancestors. I know that they're there. Their spirit, my spirit knows them. I've received numerous confirmations that they're there. But the moment we're in discomfort, we start doubting. Are you, are you guys even there? When this happened, this is happening, where are you right now? They're still there. And the knowing part is me knowing the fact that I am in discomfort, but they are still there. And this discomfort has, like, is there for a reason. Like, what? Do we have to grow through problems? That's what my brain says. But yeah, we do. We do. We do. Yeah, so I'm finding pockets of gratitude, like, while going through the most. Like, I'm finding pockets of gratitude in, in sharing, in community. I'm finding pockets of gratitude in community. Like, I am so grateful for how my life has been cultivated. Like, in a sense of, like, my circle is so small. So small, my gosh. But, like, the people that are in my life, like, are able to hold space for me. And I'm able to feel safe enough to open up, right? And there is... There's comfort in that. There's comfort in community, in family, spiritual family, physical family. Like there's comfort in that. Because when you disconnect, you become less vulnerable. But when you connect, you need to be vulnerable. You need to open up. Like this is me being vulnerable right now. Like right now, you know? So, gosh, like this made me see that like, Obviously, growth is not a linear path. And this first month of 2025 is, is showing me like that the days of cocooning are over. And obviously, like this first month has been very uncomfortable because now I've had to consciously see myself wanting to go into a cocoon and saying, no, we're showing up and we're facing things head on. We're facing things head on this year. We're facing things head on because I have a knowing that the great deity is there. My ancestors are there. I'm standing with them and they will get me through this. And all of this is for my spiritual growth. And weirdly, there's like an excitement that you get. I'm also excited. Like, I don't have the answers yet, but like I'm excited because I'm aware of the fact that like there is someone emerging here like through this and I'm excited to to make acquaintance with her um yeah that's where we'll stop for this episode um it's 2025 it's a new year and new challenges are already starting but we approach them differently this year because this year is personal this year is personal this year we're taking action this year we are showing up and this year we are standing on business. Thank you so much for listening. Um, and please do um, follow me on my socials. Um, and also don't forget, if you're listening on Spotify, please do rate this podcast. And I would love to hear from you. So please comment, like, how has 2025 been for you? Like, how has that been for you? Um, how has it been so far? And what are you realizing? Like, I'm also learning that you don't have to have it figured out. Like, it can just be like little realizations along the way. And these are the realizations that I've been um, just taking note of, like, along the way. So, yeah, that's it for me. And thank you so much for listening. <laughs>